I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Crystal Moyer. A tornado watch is now in effect for most of Central Florida until 8 o'clock tonight. And we've had warnings in Brevard and Volusia counties in the past two hours. We have team coverage for weather on Hurricane Helene. Chief Meteorologist Candace Campos is here with Meteorologist Julie Broughton. And Candace, what's the latest on the storm and its track? Right now, this is our visible satellite, finally able to get a couple of frames in now that the sun is up. And you can certainly see the center of Helene, that eye that was very, very much open. A little bit of cloud but you can just see a lot of the cloud cover really billowing up there in the center, indicating that fuel and that that development of what could become a major hurricane. So Hurricane Helene within the last update now has sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. I do want to turn your attention though to the historical track versus where the eye is right now. Some might be a bit concerned that it's starting to take more of a easterly jog. Sometimes when we have some of these stronger storms, especially if they're strengthening very quickly, they tend to wobble a little bit. And that's exactly what I feel is happening. As you can see, the eye is starting to come back into that main main site. So with that being said, even with a little wobble here and there, we are still talking about Tropical storm force winds extending outwards about 345 miles from the center. And that cone, uh, not much has changed from the uh, 5 a.m. update. Still showing a Category 3, or strong Category 3 hurricane, making landfall somewhere there along the Big Bend. Zooming in, it, the cone now continue to keep Apalachicola out of there, but you can see that cone highlighting from Carabelle all the way through Perry by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Now, of course, we're going to continue to watch the progress of not only the feeder bands coming in, but that tornado threat as well. We'll have more details on that coming up in just a little bit. But right now, we are looking relatively dry, but let's pinpoint more the timing with it now with me meteorologist Julie Broughton. We are talking about those county by county impacts already being felt across much of central Florida. This is our launch credit union camera in Cape Canaveral in Brevard County where you're seeing winds gusting close to 30 miles per hour, 83 degrees for you right now. And we're seeing winds gusting close to tropical storm strength in both Daytona Beach and New Smyrna Beach. If you're in Ocala, you are seeing 27 mile per hour wind gusts taking you county by county. Now, if you are in Brevard County, you can expect to see winds gusting up to around 45 miles per hour, that threat of isolated tornadoes. Area wide, we're looking at about a one to three inch threat of rainfall out there. Localized, we could see some higher amounts. Volusia County, you did have a tornado warning in place along with Brevard County earlier today. The worst of the weather comes late this afternoon where you can expect winds gusting to around 45 miles per hour and on average one to three inches of rain. Flagler County, technically you're not in that tornado watch. I do think everyone in Central Florida does have that threat of isolated isolated tornadoes. The worst of the weather coming as we move through the afternoon hours, one to three inches of rain and tropical storm force wind gusts. Orange County, you could see winds gusting at times to around 50 miles per hour and area wide. We're talking about one to three inches of rain possible. That does include those of you in Seminole County areas like Oviedo. Now, if I didn't get to your county this round, I will the next time we're going to be here throughout the afternoon, keeping an eye on these impacts for you with the entire weather team. Now back to Bridget and Crystal. Thanks, Julie, for keeping us covered.